Hey there, welcome back to How to Blender, the channel dedicated to answering your questions about Blender. And today we're going to learn how to make your objects transparent and also how to control the amount of transparency that you're applying to it. So let's get right into it. All right. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and use this default cube here. And since we're working with textures, so let's quickly move to our shading tab and click on new if you're not sharing your texture here. I already have a texture, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Now we see our basic setup with a material out output node and a principal bsdf in here so what we are going to do is we're going to disconnect the principal bsdf from the material output and just keep it here for now because we're going to need it later on so to make your object transparent the node that we need is called transparent node Duh. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and plug this node right into our surface and as soon as we do that it turns black don't be alarmed there are a few other settings that we need to enable just to make sure that it's actually converting our object into transparent object for that we're going to go ahead and click on material properties click on settings right here and change the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend now as soon as we do that our object disappears for the shadow mode if you want your object to be reflecting shadows even though it's not showing up you can keep it as opaque if not you can go ahead and change it to none okay so now you can see that your objects transparent but it's completely transparent what if you want to control the amount of transparency that you are applying to your object well it's simple so for that we're going to do a shift a again and search for a mix shader and plug it right between the material output and the transparent bsdf or you can just simply plug the transparent bsdf into the top part of your mix shader now the principal bsdf that we kept earlier we're going to go ahead and take this and plug it into the bottom socket of our mix shader now you can use the factor of the mix shader to control the amount of transparency that you're applying to your object right the more you keep it here the more opaque it becomes and the lesser you keep it more it disappears now you can also control this factor with another texture altogether so i'm going to go ahead and add a noise texture and plug it into the factor if i want a little bit more control on this i can also add a color ramp right in between it and just play with the color ramp to see what parts of it that i can disappear right so now as you can see you can simply control it with different texture altogether so yeah that's about it that's how you make your object transparent so please have fun with it but i really hope that you guys like this video and if you did don't forget to like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video